Hey there, Eula Simp here. So, in my latest video, I said that Lisa, Bennett, and Sinyan combo is the, is the combo that will give Eula the most damage. But that video was math from its purely damage-centered perspective. That video did not really go that much into energy recharge, which a lot of you may be wondering, because Eula's energy cost is 80, which is going to be extremely high to get. And I'm making this follow-up video because there's something very important that I actually forgot to mention in, in my previous video, is that this team, while it will bring out a ton of damage from Eula, it's really only going to work if you put Lisa and Sinyan with Favonius weapons. Sinyan with Favonius Greatsword, and Lisa with Favonius Codex. Why? Because one, Lisa does not generate energy. It's me from the future here, and my past self was an idiot here, because Lisa does indeed generate energy with her hold E. As you can see here, as, as long as you put on one stack on the enemy and then you do hold E, she generates four uh, ele electro particles, which is really, really good. And now I have to re-record all my footage. Oh man. By using Favonius Codex, which the passive will give six energy as long as you crit, which will be huge, especially if you have this at refinement rank three or higher. I only have this at refinement rank one because I don't pull for weapon banners beca because I'm poor. I only have this at refinement rank 1 because I'm pretty unlucky when it comes to Vovonius weapons, which is kind of sad. And for Sinyan, if you ha have a really high refinement rank Favonius Greatsword, then it is a must use. Because it makes Sinyan one of the best partners for Eula. Because not only does she have the 15% uh, increased physical damage, which we already know, if you have her C2, Eula's banner is going to have Sinyan, so. C2 Sinyan is pretty achievable. What her C2 does is it makes her ult have 100% crit rate. And 100% uh, crit rate is going to make this Favonius Greatsword trigger very, very easily. Which is great. And also Sinyan C4. This is essentially a 7.5% increase to Eula's damage on, on, her physical, on her physical attacks. And her C4 is also really nice because phys physical resistance is reduced by 15% for 12 seconds. Uh, by her E, which her E has a cooldown of 18 seconds, and this buff lasts 12 seconds, which is very, very nice. Here I'm using Diona because Diona, Diona has 80 energy, so she's a good, she's a good placeholder for Eula currently. The only other cryo character that has 80 energy is Chi Chi. The problem is we can't use her as a placeholder because Eula's E is definitely gonna generate energy. And since she's a main DPS character, we, we can assume currently that her E, her press E is probably going to generate three cryo particles because that's usually what characters nowadays can generate on their E's. And since the cooldown is only four seconds, she can do she can do it twice in eight seconds and get six cryo particles. Chi Chi gets zero, which sucks honestly. And Diona can get five from her hold E for fifteen seconds. Now I will take off Sacrificial because it, with Sacrificial she'll get 10 particles, which is way too much. But with this she'll only get 5 particles, so this is the current best placeholder for Eula. Once Eula comes out, I will do a lot of testing with her because, uh, I, because I am Eula Sim. But for now, we have to use Dion as a placeholder. Alright, so timer starts now. Alright, and done. So that's around 37 seconds. That's not bad considering it's an alt with 80 energy cost, but generally 37 seconds for an alt isn't necessarily that good. Alright, so being being in the Genshin community for a while, I've learned that to be very convincing, I have to present math. So I have to present math and numbers. So what I did was I tried to calculate Eula's energy gain as close as as best as I can. 
Now, I wouldn't be surprised if my calculations are off by like four, like three, four, or even five seconds because energy is an extremely complex thing to actually calculate, mainly because there's factors such as what, ro what rotations you want to do in your team, how much time it's actually going to take for your rotations, which currently we do not actually know. This, these are estimates because EULA is currently not out. I just assume that most of EULA's attacks take one second. And also depending on how fast you are personally, your switches could be faster than other people's switches as well. And as you can see, you'll need to switch a lot of times to, act, to gain the ideal amount of energy. So I also made assumptions to where each switch is around one second because one switch has a cooldown of 0 0.6 seconds and if you switch in and you switch back, that should be around one second. And also each attack has their own amount of time they have to use to actually generate their energy as well. And there's also Favonius, which sometimes will proc and will not proc until until a couple of attacks. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of random RNG involved in energy calculation, and that's exact and that's exactly why base you basically see no one actually calculate how much energy you can gain per second because these have these types of calculations rely too much on RNG. However, I think I've been able to at least get pretty close to how much energy Eula is actually going to get in these certain five teams. I chose five teams because I think these are probably the five most popular teams. I'll get into each of them individually. And my last assumption here is that Eula has 150% energy recharge. I'm using that as a base for now. And I'll assume she also generates two particles per press E and then three particles on her hold E based on the, her cooldowns. Because it seems like the attack cooldowns actually correlate with how much energy is gained on attacks. By the way, Lisa and Sinyan are also using Favonius weapons. These are the only two that are using Favonius weapons because honestly speaking, the other characters do not really need Favonius weapons. You could put Favonius weapons on them. But the other characters are characters such as Beidou and Fischl, which unlike Lisa and Sinyan, are actually going to do really really good amount of damage. So I'd say you should put uh, uh, damaging weapons on those two characters. Lisa doesn't really do damage, so you can get away with a Favonius Codex on her. And Sinyan, Sinyan does damage. However, her C2, her C2 with her guaranteed 100% crit rate combined with Favonius is way too good to pass up. Which is why Sinyan is basically in every team here. Because her combined with Favonius Greatsword is actually one of the best energy chargers for Eula, believe it or not. Just due to how good the Favonius passive is. Alright, so first off, team 1. Eula, Lisa, Bennett, and Sinyan, the team that I demonstrated. So, since there are many rotations you could do, I picked out the most ideal rotation. Now, this is ideal, this is ideal scenario. So if you do this rotation where you use Eula E and then you go to Bennett E, Sinyan E, and Favonius proc, uh, Bennett, Bennett, Sinyan combo and Lisa are changeable by the way. You can either do Lisa first or Bennett, Sinyan first. Because in the demonstration I did Lisa first and then I went to Bennett and Sinyan. You can switch these two orders because since both characters are using Favonius, you have to switch back to Eula anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But anyways, let's say you do Eula E, Bennett E, Sinyan E, and then you proc her Favonius and then you switch to Eula, and then you do Lisa E and then hold E, and then you proc her Favonius, and then you switch to Eula to get the Favonius energy, and then you do Eula hold E. For those of you who don't know, I'm putting switch to Eula after Favonius proc because your selected character gains more energy than when it's not selected. So if you do this rotation with this team, the resulting energy from the rotation will will get you 52.35 energy. So you need 27.65 more energy for Eula's ult. And your energy gain rate with this with this team with this setup is around 2.49 energy per second. And the total time it takes for you to get your ult is 32.09 seconds. Now I've tried all of these teams uh, in practice and most of my times match up to at least a 1 to 2 second margin of error. And most of my times are actually pretty close. Like for example, my demonstration earlier in this video where I used this exact team, it came out as 37 seconds, but my Lisa did get interrupted and could not proc her hold E. If she managed to actually get her hold E out and you cut that part of the footage specifically, it actually comes out to around five, exactly 5 seconds. So instead of 37 seconds, the amount of time, if I didn't get interrupted, would have actually taken 32 seconds, which matches with the calculations. 
And that's also a big big factor in what I base my time per rotation in as well. Because I wanted to make the math not only just super idealistic to where it won't ever happen, I also wanted the math to be a bit more practical. And all these times I've been able to recreate as long as I got the ideal scenarios. Now for other teams, team 2 is Eula, Beidou, Bennett and Sinyan. Xinyan still has Favonius, Beidou doesn't have Favonius because Beidou doesn't actually really need Favonius because you still generate energy pretty well with Beidou. And also with Beidou, here's the interesting thing as well. With Beidou, you should not use her press E unless you're doing perfect counters. Because if you press E, you only get two particles. But if you hold your E, if you hold your counter and then you get hit at least once, you will get four particles instead of two which makes a pretty big difference for Beidou. So also keep that in mind. And in this rotation, I went with Eula E, Beidou E, Bennett E, and then Sinyan E, and then proc the Favonius, and then you switch to Eula, and then you do Eula hold E to get the, to get the most amount of energy. I assume that the time it takes for this rotation is 17 seconds, because Beidou is much quicker than Lisa, and since Beidou is not trying to proc Favonius, that also saves some time. And, and if you notice, there's also less switching. And with a bunch of rounding up, the time diff is roughly around 4 seconds, so I just went ahead and used 4 seconds. And I also assume that you're doing a Be Beidou hold E or Beidou perfect counter to get the max amount of energy from Beidou. So with this rotation, Eula gets 43.35 energy from this, entire from this entire sequence. And the energy left to gain for her is 36.65. You might notice that this is actually lower than this rotation. But since the time it takes to actually do this is much lower, by 4 seconds, the, your energy gain rate is actually higher. You're gaining 2.55 energy per second for Eula, so the total time it takes to get Eula's ult is 31.37 seconds. So with this team, even, even with only 1 Favonius, it's still faster than, than team 1 with 2 Favonius. By the way, uh, if you do not use Favonius for team 1, it, the total time is around 50 seconds. You really need to use Favonius for Team 1, and especially on Sinyan if you're going to use her. And now let's move on to Team 3. Team 3 is basically the same thing as Team 2, but instead of Beidou, we're going to use Fischl. Fischl generates slightly more energy than Beidou, since you just place her Oz and then it generates energy for you. And Fischl, from what I've noticed, can generate anywhere from 5 to 10 orbs. In the wiki, it's listed at 0.6 times 10, so that's what I decided to use. Because hey, if it's wrong, at least I can blame the wiki. So yeah, with this rotation, basically the same, basically the same rotation as Team Two, except instead of Beidou E, we're doing Fischl E. I also, I'm also assuming that the time for rotation is the same, 17 seconds. Now, usually this rotation will be a little bit faster since Fischl's E is a lot easier to do than Beidou's Hold E or per slash Perfect Counter. But since we're trying to go for ideal scenarios here, I assume that Beidou can do perfect counter E or hold E with minimal time loss. So that's why the times are the same here. So with this team, the energy you get from doing the entire rotation is around 45.15 energy. And the energy you have left to gain is 34.85, which roughs out to be 2.6558 energy per second. And the total time to get Eula's ult with this team is 30.12 seconds. So yep, if you've noticed, it keeps going down very slightly. And now Team 4. Team 4 is with Eula, Beidou, Lisa, and Sinyan. This is the this is the team here that utilizes Electro Resonance. Eula, Beidou, Lisa, Sinyan. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, my Team 4, I accidentally wrote Lisa even though I meant to write Fischl. So anyways, the Team 4 is utilizing two Electro characters for that Electro Resonance because that elect because the Electro Resonance, what it does is essentially if you do any reaction that involves Electro, you get an extra energy particle, and it can happen every 5 seconds, which is really good because with Sinyan and Eula, you can keep doing Overload and Superconduct, and you, just get and you just get extra energy for free, thanks to the resonance. Now again, I assume the time is 17 seconds because, because it's just like Team 2 and Team 3, where basically I'm just replacing Bennett E with another E, so there should not be any time loss, ideally. So the order here is to do Eula E, Beidou E, and then Sinyan E, and then Favonius proc, and then you switch to Eula to get the Favonius energy, and then you switch to Fischl E, and then and then you go to Eula hold E. Makes the time for this rotation should take roughly around 7 sec 17 seconds, and yep, with this setup, you should be able to get 48.3 energy from this rotation, and you'll have 31.7 energy left to gain. Your energy gain per second will be around 2.841 energy per second, 
And then the total time it takes for you to get the ult is 28.157 seconds. Which, a 2 second improvement is pretty nice. Now a 2 second decrease is really nice because most of the time it's only just 1 second decrease. Whereas this is a straight up 2 second decrease which is really cool. So Electro Resonance definitely helps quite a bit when it comes to u less energy. And now the last team here where this team uses a second cryo character with, in the form of Eula, Fischl, Diona, and then Sinia. Diona is the best cryo energy charger in the game. And here I assume that you have Sacrificial Bow because Diona holds E to X. That's basically the Sacrificial Bow passive. So Eula E and then Diona hold E twice. And then you switch to Eula for Diona's energy. There, and then you go Official E and then Sinyan E and Favonius proc. And then you switch to Eula after the Favonius proc and then you do Eula hold E. The time for this rotation, I'm not exactly sure how long this will take. Since Diona's hold E, you're doing it twice and it's a bit, and it's a bit long. So I just went straight for the middle of 17 and 21 seconds, which is 19.5 seconds. And as you can see here, with the Sacrificial Bow passive activated, you get 69.9 energy from the rotation, which is a very nice number. And the energy left you need to gain is 10.1. Your energy grain rate per second is 3.58 energy per second, and it only takes you 22.317 seconds to actually get her ult which is a really, really massive time decrease in terms of how long it takes to actually get her ult. So if you want to spam her ult a lot, then Diona is the way to go. I also calculated here, what if, Di what if Diona's Sacrificial Bow does not activate? Well, the resulting energy from the rotation will be 57.9, so you still have 22.1 energy left to gain. Your energy gain per second will be 2.969 energy per second. And the total time it'll take for you to get her ult is 26.94 seconds. So still faster than Team 4's Electro Resonance. But that's mainly because Diona is generating cryo particles. And if you're also wondering about Rosaria, because Rosaria is would also be a really really good partner for her, especially if you have her C6. Then Rosaria is also around just as fast as this. She's not as fast as Diona since she doesn't generate as much energy as Diona, but she's somewhere around the 27 second mark if, if I had to guess. Because she's only very slightly behind in terms, in terms of generating energy compared to a Diona that, that did not get the passive of Sacrificial Bow off. So yep, that's it. That's basically it for the math. And yeah, most of these times did match up during my, te during my testing. They either matched up or or there was a margin of error of around 1 to 1.5 seconds, which is not that bad considering considering how many random factors actually go into energy and energy charging. So yep. I hope you guys found something helpful from this video. I'll definitely be looking forward to Eula's release because I want to see how close my math was. I'm not expecting my math to be fully right, but I'm expecting it to at least be pretty close. And also these math videos do take quite a long time, so if you can, please please do subscribe so you'll be notified when my next video comes out because my schedule is a bit of a mess. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Also just a quick mention at the end of this video as well, um, if, you, if you noticed here, whatever the second E is, you can also switch to Eula as well to get the full benefit of the energy, and that also helps as well. But, so I just went with these calculations.